Hi, I'm Barry Scott, and I'm here to talk to you today about communism. Communism was essentially the idea of two flipping marvellous chaps who lived in Britain, who went by the name of Engels and Marx. If you've ever studied Victorian Britain, you will know how people work long, filthy hours in unsafe factories, living in the disease-ridden slum, disease slums. Now, Marx and Engels had a very strange idea. Basically, Marx's view of history was that there were five stages. Stage one is primitive communism. <laughs> this is stage one. There's no government, no state, and very few commodities. Stage two, feudalism. Some form of monarchy, usually absolute, dominant social group, was the aristocracy. Life is great for the king. <laughs> well, that brings us to the third stage of Marx's view of history, capitalism. <laughs> the dominant social group in this era is the middle class, especially industrialists, and everybody is out to make money. reached stage five of Marx's view of history, communism. Here, there's absolutely no state. There's just the administration of things, shall we say. There's no classes and everybody is equal and plentiful goods are all equally shared. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, uh, my sheep, uh, they need some more food. I must get some more money. Ah, uh, the stock market is looking awful. Ah. Uh. Uh. Hello, I am Lenin. I, uh, how you say, hate Marx and Engels' view on the five stages. I think that us clever Russians can skip the stages. Hello, it's me again. Now, finally, Marx and Engels have reached stage five, communism. Everybody is sharing everything equally, and life is good. And that's the end today, folks. Until next time, when I'll be talking to you about the French Revolution. Oui. Go. Life is great for the game. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cutting that joke. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Hello, I am learning. I think that Marx and 